Hi, I'm Doc Jenny. Join us in the Green Hornet as we travel the back roads of beautiful North Idaho. Every day is different, challenging, and never boring as we see all the farm animals, big and small. To talk a little bit about that case that we just saw the uh, two-year-old paint filly with what looked to be all four legs that she was sore and uh, we had a little bit of a dubious history of lameness sounds like she was sore when the owner picked her up she'd been in a boggy pen uh, then in the trailering she may have whacked one of her other legs that was sore for a little bit so when we got her out of finally got her out of the pen um, she'd been standing in a stall that wasn't super clean so she had quite a bit of manure in her feet. Her feet were really packed and wet and damp. Uh, they hadn't been trimmed for a while and so uh, she had deep sulcuses where she had a lot of stuff getting packed in her feet. Which is a common site for thrush uh, which is a infection in the soft tissues of the feet that can make the horse really sore so it feels like you're kind of walking on a uh, nasty gravel road. You're, everything's just really tender. So for that horse um, Part of our biggest issue is she had not been handled very much which makes a lameness evaluation that much more difficult she also hadn't been moving around much and so she was stiff and sore kind of all over after a recent environment change and then um, moving to a new place and then being in a stall so a lot of stuff going on for that horse which makes it a little bit more difficult to figure out exactly what the problem is what i'd really like to do is just kind of because she looks sore all over all four of her feet look like they hurt right now yeah. so i want to kind of move her around a little bit to see if she can kind of work out of that is there a spot where we can take her or we can kind of walk her a little bit kind of get her moving she kind of looks like she hurts all over right now she couldn't pick her feet up yesterday no she would not pick them up okay so right now her left front is the most sore so she's kind of sore which is why I wanted to get her out here where I can move around a bit because she looks like she's sore on all four of her feet and she yeah, is. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, so um, there's a couple different possibilities. She does have thrush in all four of her feet. That could be causing some problem, but she's also sore over the sole, especially on the medial side on that left front. We have a couple different options. I think getting her out where she can move definitely will be to her advantage. Uh, we can keep her feet dry and clean that way for a couple of days, get the thrush healed. That'll definitely help. Exercise in a good pen with good footing, cleaning out her feet once a day, treating her for thrush and some butte. Try that for four or five days. Okay. If there's improvement, great, we're on the right track. If not, then we can shoot x-rays. So for this particular horse, we had definite sole pain on both of her front feet. Didn't feel like there was any obvious abscess in the foot. Um, she, Like I said, she was difficult to get a good evaluation on. There wasn't a lot of heat in the feet. The pulses were up only minor, minorly, which are the the pulses you can find in the ankles of the horse's feet in the fetlock area that's the digital pulse and in a case of founder or an abscess those pulses will be bounding and hers weren't really bounding that much and so for this particular horse we our recommendation was to get her into an area where she can move around at will a little bit more uh, clean her feet at least once daily we're going to treat her with thrush x or an equivalent in order to get the thrush under control and then we're using a sole hardener on her, which is a mix of formalin and the iodine. It's a 50% mix that we paint on the bottom of the foot in order to harden the sole of the foot to remove any discomfort from her foot that way. So that's our plan for that horse, plus anti-inflammatories. She's going to be on two grams of butte twice a day, which is our maximum dose that I like to have a horse on. And she's gonna do that through this weekend and see if there's any improvement come next week. If not, then my recommendation is that we do x-rays on this horse. So that's our lameness of the day. Lamenesses can be pretty tricky and this one definitely falls in that category. Even though it's pretty easy to see that the horse is lame, that part's the easy part. Figuring out exactly what the cause of it is. It's one of those times when I really wish the horse could talk. So that's all for us for today. Hey everybody. Thanks for riding with us in the Green Hornet today. This is Doc Jenny signing out. If you like what you saw, be sure and follow us in the Green Hornet with Tormund out on the road with Doc Jenny. Just click the link below <laughs> and follow us along on our journeys. See you later.